What do you think about first when you think about Battle Creek, Michigan? The cereal factories, the Lakeview Square Mall, the old military hospital, and Fort Custer. Or do you think about what nobody really thinks about at all? Trains. They're important in America's history in delivering cargo to your doorstep and people across the nation. There are old pieces of infrastructure from when railroads ruled logistics. And I'm here to show you those in this Battle Creek, Michigan. This is the real history of Battle Creek, Michigan. Why Battle Creek, Michigan? It seems like an odd place to have so much to talk about when it comes to trains. The main attractions are a dying mall and indoor water park in Post Franklin. Surprisingly, there's a fair amount of easy to see historical details that are left from the past, but to understand why those things are there, we must go to the very beginning. In 1880, two small railroads ran through Battle Creek. The Michigan Central Railroad, which was owned by a much larger railroad than New York Central, was a direct link between Chicago and Detroit through St. Joseph, Kalamazoo, and Jackson. The Grand Trunk Western, owned by the Canadian National Railroad, ran all throughout southern Michigan and northern Indiana to reach Chicago, directly linking Canada to the freight rail hub of the United States via Detroit and Port Huron. The Michigan Central is highlighted in blue, and the Grand Trunk is highlighted in red. Compared to the Michigan Central, the Grand Trunk Western had a significantly larger amount of trackage in Battle Creek. Coming in from Lansing on the Flint subdivision, they immediately have three yards that were astoundingly close to each other. Battle Creek Yard, the northernmost yard, was used to store and sort cars and still is today. Nichols Yard, to the south, was a smaller version of Battle Creek Yard and was used for the same purpose, however it has been replaced with trees. The most historically significant yard in Battle Creek has to be Verona Yard which is used to repair and rebuild locomotives and store ones that weren't being used. This is where the railroad's only locomotive maintenance facility was located. After Nichols Yard, the Grand Trunk ran on the South Bend subdivision where it crossed over the Michigan Central tracks and headed towards Schoolcraft. Fast forward to 1976. Another company, called Conrail, runs the blue highlighted track now. It's a long story that I won't be getting into detail, but if you want to understand, here's a graph. In the late 70s and early 80s, trains were getting longer, too long to cross the diamonds and fit in all the scheduled freight trains. In 1981, the decision was made to add track that connected the Conrail Line to the Grand Trunk Line and remove the tracks cutting through downtown on the Conrail Line to create the Battle Creek Corridor where both companies now share tracks. Conrail split in half in the late 1990s, and half of the company was given to another company, Norfolk Southern, who owned the tracks for a while. Another change happened in the 1990s to the Grand Trunk. The company was downsized, and Canadian National began running through Battle Creek. In addition, Canadian National closed Nichols Yard and Verona Yard, demolishing the roundhouse and selling the old maintenance shops. In 2012, Norfolk Southern sold the tracks to Amtrak, bringing us to the modern day. So, what's actually left of all that? First, there's the old Michigan Central Passenger Station, which is now a very lovely riverside restaurant that I've been to many times myself. There's also this Grand Trunk Depot in Post Franklin, which is now a preschool. There's also the old paved-over turntable pit in Verona Yard. There's a road to the west of Battle Creek which runs parallel to the Canadian National Main Line named after the Grand Trunk Western. But besides that, there's not really all that much that's left, with one major exception. When the Grand Trunk downsized, they had closed a lot of facilities and demolished a lot of buildings, like the Roundhouse, but one of the facilities that were closed but remained untouched was the Battle Creek Shops, the maintenance shops of the entire Grand Trunk system. And unfortunately, it is no longer used as a shop, it is now a self-storage facility. You can see, there is a tower with the Grand Trunk logo on it, although it is in not the best condition. I've always loved Battle Creek for its unique rail history, and I think that it's important to remember. Trains are one of those methods of transportation nobody really cares about, but it's important to remember how the railroads have shaped our towns and cities. It's a reminder that our past continues to shape our present and future, and we must always cherish and preserve our history for generations to come.